Hey guys, I want to take a look at how you can play old DOS-based games that were network-enabled over an IP-based network using DOSBox. Now, I'm going to do this with the way that I've typically approached this using containers. And if you've been watching my channel for a while, you know that I've containerized a bunch of just old platforms like DOSBox and RetroArch, which enables you to have all the different game consoles that you can imagine. And then I've done Windows 98, Windows Server 2008, and then a myriad of other things. But this one is going to take that DOSBox implementation and enable that particular implementation to play network-based games that use the IPX protocol. So I'm going to look at that stack for a minute just on a slide, and then I'm going to show you the implementation using uh, Doom, and I'm going to play Doom over a network, but it's all going to be running in the context of Kubernetes with a browser-based client. So the implementation that I'm going to be doing is using containers in Kubernetes, and containers is just the way that I'm delivering the particular DOSBox implementation, and Kubernetes is providing all the orchestration for that, but you don't have to use Kubernetes and containers for this to work because DOSBox does this natively. So DOSBox is the core technology in this. And DOSBox is, uh, of course, an emulation uh, software that allows you to play old DOS-based games. So if it would run in like DOS 5 or DOS 4, you can load it up in DOSBox. And then DOSBox provides the emulated hardware that would have been popular during the particular area of the these DOS-based games. So this would be things like sound blasters and joysticks and mice and whatever other hardware was needed to play those old DOS games. Now, many of these games were just single player games, but there was a few of them that were network enabled. So you could play the games over a network and that kind of rudimentary networking was based on the IPX protocol. And so IPX was hugely popular before IP became a thing. So IPX started probably in the late 70s, but it really took off in the late 80s and early 90s, mainly due to Novell Netware. Novell Netware was the big platform that everybody in corporate America and enterprises and even small businesses were adopting for a local area network. And so you would have a Novell Netware server, and then you would have all of your clients, typically Windows or DOS machines, uh, connecting to that. And it was a file server and a mail server. It had a lot of other apps that you could install on Novell Netware. But that was all IPX-based networking. And because Novell Network adopted IPX, there was a ton of other vendors that were more focused on more niches like peer-to-peer -peer networking without the server implementation, but they still used IPX networking because it was just the de facto protocol that everybody used back then for local area network traffic. But in the late 90s, as the internet became a mainstay in our lives, uh, IPX was replaced by IP for network traffic on the local network as well as the internet. So all these older games uh, implemented IPX didn't necessarily receive an update or a patch to enable it to use IP. They kind of just fell into obsolescence without an added benefit of having IP-based traffic. Now, there was a few games that did uh, come out in the late 90s that were initially IPX games, but then added IP support later, such as StarCraft, but that one comes to mind. The original release of that only supported IPX networking for uh, games on a local network, but later added IP support so you could have uh, either IPX or IP-based games. But to enable these on DOSBox, you need a compatibility layer that will take the IPX protocol and basically encapsulate it into something that a network can understand, which in this case would be IP traffic. So DOSBox basically just takes the IPX protocol, encapsulates it in IP, and then sends that over an IP-based network, which is implemented in Kubernetes. And so long as you have another game in another DOSBox instance that has the same game running that is encapsulating IPX to IP and they're connected to one another using the uh, compatibility layer provided by DOSBox, then you can play these old IPX based games over a network. So it's pretty straightforward. Uh, the challenge of my setup was that I wanted to take the DOSBox implementation that I had, which was basically a DOSBox running in a container and implement this IPX uh, abstraction to IP and then run it over a network and then have the client actually running in the browser. And so my browser-based client will allow me to 
interact with the game using my local keyboard and mouse and all the results are streamed to a browser, but then all of the local traffic between the two clients will be on the local network for my Kubernetes cluster, wherever that might be, which I'm going to use Azure for mine. So I'm basically just going to deploy two different containers to Azure, boot up Doom, and then connect the two together uh, using DOSBox over a UDP network that is running on the Kubernetes internal network, even though the results are going to be streamed back to me to a browser. So let's take a look at the implementation of this using some Kubernetes uh, Kubernetes manifest files, and then we'll take a look at the games in action. So I'm going to look at a couple of different files here to kind of talk about the code here. I'm not going to go into great depth about what I did, but I'm going to look at the DOSBox config file, the Docker file, and also a Kubernetes manifest file. So the DOSBox config file to enable IPX is really straightforward. The only thing that you have to do is look for the section that's called IPX and turn it on. So it's disabled by default, so it's set to false. Turn it on by setting it to true, and then use this as part of your DOSBox implementation. So I have tweaked this file in other ways for performance tweaks and other things uh, related to the playability of games in the, the browser context. So I decided um, to include a DOSBox configuration in this latest iteration, rather than try to configure that all in line using a bunch of said replace commands. And so I'm just injecting it here. If you want to see how I was doing things in prior iterations of this particular Docker file, I have a video linked in the video description down below that goes through this in detail, but I basically just replaced uh, the, the configuration of DOSBox with a injected file that will then uh, serve as the configuration for DOSBox. But the rest of this is pretty much the same as what we saw before um, using webaudio.js uh, for audio playback in the browser, and then using an audio stack. It's you know, setting up VNC passwords, copying in a couple games here, and installing some middleware for all of the various components for what, uh, taking the audio stream and then putting that into a WebSocket so you can play it in the browser and doing the same thing for VNC and then using a no VNC client as the front end for all of this. So let's talk about the YAML file for Kubernetes. This manifest file is designed to implement a playable environment that has two different uh, nodes on it. So this will allow you to have uh, 1v1 uh, deathmatch or co-op in, inside of Doom. And that's really what I'm going to demo. So this is pretty straightforward for the most part. It's got a service to expose it to the world. So this is using a load balancer. I'm going to be using Azure Kubernetes services. You could use a cluster IP or whatever to expose this. You could tweak this to your particular environment. I'm going to use a load balancer. That's going to give me an IP address and it's going to expose port 80. And then I have this one set up right here. This is really the magic sauce for this. And this is basically just setting up a service on UDP on port 19900 and then a backend port uh, of 19900 inside of DOSBox. So whenever I start IPX on DOSBox, I'm gonna be using this UDP port right here uh, to expose this. And I'm just replicating these two services and the, the actual deployment, which is just a, a single container down here for the second player, which will then expose another load balancer, get into a separate IP address. And then I have an internal cluster IP right here on the UDP port. So there's basically a back channel for the UDP to talk to one another. And then here is the container implementation right here. So I have two deployments and each deployment have two services, one for the IPX UDP combination, and then one for the exposed client that is serving up no VNC. So that is the Kubernetes manifest file, the Docker file, and the DOSBox config. If you don't want to build this, you can use my container that I've already built. It's at blaze slash keen on Docker Hub. So you can just pull that. It's already built uh, with everything in the repo. So you can check out that if you want to just download it without having to build it. If you want to build it, fine, just run Docker build in your local context, and you can have the exact same results or tweak it to your liking. So I have a PowerShell instance up right here and just show you that I have these files here. I'm going to be deploying this particular file right here. And so to do that, it's pretty straightforward. kubectl apply uh, dash F and then just do multiplayer uh, dot YAML. And uh, that's going to deploy those resources. So you can do kubectl get uh, services and to, to get the IP address uh, for these particular services right here. 
Uh, it hasn't allocated it yet, so we have to wait for that to allocate. But these are the internal endpoints for the UDP that we're going to be using for the IPX backend. Uh, and these are for the exposed web client. So let's uh, see if we have those IPs now. So I have two IPs right here, um, each one for each unique client. So I'm going to use those IPs uh, in the browser. And then I'm going to have basically two clients and then they'll talk to each other on the back end using these services right here. Truthfully, I only need one, but I'm going to use both of them uh, for the purposes of having one up and already running. And I could connect to either one of them because I got to start a server on one of those or both of them, depending on what I'm trying to do. But I'm going to do it for one of them and then have the other client connect to it. So let's bring up the clients. I'm just going to use these IP addresses right here um, and just do HTTP. Uh, to these, I don't have any uh, security in front of these, and then click on VNC, connect, and then I'm just using the default password, password one, and um, you can see that it has a C prompt, and I can do CD Doom and install this game, and um, get this installation process going. And while that's installing, let's go ahead and connect the second uh, client right here and a uh, separate IP address. So plug that in and then hit VNC, connect, and then password one here for this one. And then these look exactly the same because they're based off the same image. So let's go ahead and install Doom here. Um, and uh, get that, that process going. And so this will take a few seconds to install each one of these respectively uh, because, you know, uh, Doom back in the day was a fairly large game for uh, the era. Uh, it took, I think, two floppy disks to install it. Um, and it took a long time because you had to read it off a of floppy, but this is throttled to emulate 46 like speed. So uh, let's let this install and we'll come back when it's done. So let's configure the sound blaster and I'm just picking, taking all the faults. Doesn't really matter which one they're gonna work. And I'm gonna exit to DOS and save those settings. And uh, the second one here is gonna just take the defaults here and then exit to DOS and um, save the settings. So I'm gonna break these out into two separate windows right here so that we can kind of see what's going on. So on the, uh, I'm gonna put the keen one on the left or the first client on the left right here and then put the right one, the second client on the right. And so in the Doom directory, both are set up. Um, uh, and let's go ahead and get the network set up on this one. So to do that, you want to run a, a built-in application. It's just installed whenever you uh, called IPX, it's called IPX net. And uh, you can see that it's IPX tunneling utility for DOSBox, and it's just a built-in app to DOSBox. You don't have to install it or anything. And um, we basically just want to start it on one and then connect on the other. So this is where that UDP service is going to come in handy. So I'm going to do IPX net start server and then you specify the port so i'm going to put it on port 19 uh 900 and that will then start the, the ipx server on client number one right here and then this one is going to be a client to that so basically i just need to know the service name for that to work so uh, ipx net here uh, is going to have connect so i'm going to do ipx uh, net connect, and then I'm going to put in the host name, which is in the case of BNC. If we look at this right here, it's called uh, Keen IPX Service One. Uh, so that's what I'm going to type in right here Keen IPX Service, let's spell it right, Service One. And then I'm going to put in the port number, um, which is 19900, and I should get a connected successfully. And so with that, I can now start the, the the clients and the the to to start this game up so to start a deathmatch you type in dm and then you select ipx network and hit f10 and let this thing go and this one is then going to do the same dm ipx f10 go and both games start and so basically take side here. I'm going to turn the volume down so you can actually hear uh, me talking over these two. And I'm going to choose the one here on the left. And I should be able to go find this guy. Let's choose the one on the right here and go find this guy here. Um, and um, and uh, 
do some multiplayer game as a single player here and uh, and uh, see if I can hunt him down and maybe kill him. So there he is up there on that ledge, and you should see about see me down there moving uh, down there on the decline on the right. So you can see me strafing back and forth. So let's pop a few bullets over there and uh, see if I can't uh, kill the one on the left. And if my aim was better, maybe I could. And he doesn't seem to want to die. Um, get a little closer here. No, oh, about every other bullet hits him. And now he's dead. And so you can see that I just took out <clears throat> the client on the left with the client on the right. And so I can respawn and uh, respawn in the exact same sp space. How about that? And uh, see if I can get some revenge here and kill this guy. And he died too. So you can see that I have a multiplayer game going on with Doom using IPX over the UDP encapsulation. So playing an old school network game using Kubernetes, stream the results back to your browser. So this would be a fun way to enable you to play uh, games in a browser, but without having to install all this infrastructure or expose ports or do anything like that, you can just use Kubernetes and it all works and it actually works fairly well. So if you like this content, please like and subscribe to the channel. It's just a fun way to use Kubernetes and use some old school technology and then integrate that with some new technology to breathe some new life into it. So all of this working together just makes a fun gaming experience and just a fun tech experiment as well. And as always, uh, like and subscribe. If you like this, please drop me some comments down in the comment section down below. If there's a question that you might have, please do ask it. And as always, thanks for watching. If you like this content, please consider subscribing to the channel by clicking on the subscribe button. You can also like this content by clicking on the thumbs up or share this content with your friends and also comment in the comment section down below. You can also find me online at www.blaze.net or on Twitter at The One Mule. And as always, thanks for watching.